Hey, everybody. Okay, um, so I am starting to get channeled messages for uh, the collective, and um, you guys know that I usually will make a post and say this is for someone, but this one is a little too long to be typing out, so I'm just going to start doing these in video form, especially when they come in, um, you know, pretty hefty like this, so I have taken notes on my phone, so if you see me looking down, I'm reading the notes so that I can stay on target. I don't want to make this a super long video. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I hope that 2023 is starting off magnificently for you and whatever it is that you are desiring i am holding space for you to manifest that okay so for somebody out there it's a whole lot of money in this okay <laughs> that's just been playing in my head all day right but for somebody out there um there is a lot of money to be made for you I don't understand what happened just now. Am I still live? What is Facebook doing? Come on now. What's, what's really real? What's really going on? Because now it's showing that I'm not live anymore. And it has switched to somebody else's live. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay. I'm back. Looks like I'm back. All right. <laughs> so anyways, like I said, um, for somebody out there, there's a lot of money to be made. Um, and you're ready to step all the way into your wealth. Okay. However, you have to start tapping into your divine feminine energy. Okay. Um, and you're going to have to, and this is for, this is for men and for women. Okay. So you're going to have to start stepping all the way into your divine feminine energy um, for these things to come to you, for you to attract. Okay. Because when we're in our feminine energy, we are more relaxed. We are receptive. We're in re receptivity mode, right? We're allowing and attracting. It doesn't mean that you're not taking action. It doesn't mean that you're not doing work. Um, it just means that it's time for you to um, be more in your receptive mode. So whether that means receiving help from someone, asking for help, okay, um, and trusting help that comes and relying on your intuition to know that the help is there for you and that it's safe for you to accept the help, okay? Okay. Um, this is you tapping into the subconscious mind and to find out if there are any patterns from your past life that you can pull in and use in the current life. So for example, maybe in your past life, you, or maybe you had like either you were a feminine energy. It doesn't mean that you had to be female or a woman. It means that you were some being operating in their divine feminine, okay? So it's either you in a past life or maybe there's an ancestor that is operating fully in this energy that it's, it's time for you to sit with that particular energy and tap into these particular um, gifts, okay? There may be some gifts, there might be some information Maybe it's even this energy is, is trying to direct you to something like a resource or something that has been lost or something that has been hidden or stolen from you or from your bloodline in some capacity. So it's time for you to get still, sit in that subconscious energy, that utilizing that moon energy, that mother divine feminine energy, okay, because that's where you're going to tap into that wealth, okay? That's where you're gonna tap into it, whether it's you um, being led by that energy to go find something that is yours by birthright, okay? Or you're tapping into some sort of gift or talent that is going to help you attract that wealth, okay? Or create something that is going to attract that wealth. 
Um, you're dealing with water as well. And so this is you um, connecting more with your emotional intelligence and finding out a way that you can touch your audience. So let's just say you have clients, you have customers, maybe you have an audience or whatever you do, Facebook lives or you're on social media in some capacity, some capacity um, by you tapping into this divine feminine energy, you're also tapping into that emotional intelligence. And that emotional intelligence is going to help you connect better with your audience. Okay. Um, it's going to help you um, connect with your clients or your customers in a new way. Um, even if you're working for a company, okay, there's a way that you can tap into your emotional intelligence or that emotional energy that that feminine aspect of yourself can bring out. Um, and this is going to assist you. Oh, okay, Karen. Awesome. Okay. Um, so this, this particular energy is going to allow you to shine very, very bright, okay, in a way that you haven't before. Um, it's going to bring forth a lot of financial reward, and we're talking about money, talking about money, that type of abundance, that type of reward, okay? Um, and there's a doorway, I'm seeing just a doorway opening with like, money just flying in as soon as you start tapping into this energy. Um, so this particular feminine energy, she's holding, and I'm saying she just because I'm referring to feminine energy, but it doesn't have to be a she. Um, it can be um, a, a man that is just operating mainly in their feminine energy, okay? But they're holding massive wealth. And I want you to think about it. If you um, if you read tarot, I want you to think about like the queen of pentacles um, or the empress and how she's just kind of sitting back and relaxing. She's not necessarily doing anything, but but she is, you know what I mean? Like she's not doing something physical right there in that moment. There's no action being taken. However, there is this uh, relaxed, confident, calm, easy, flowing, tapped in energy where things are just being attracted and she's just receiving and just allowing, okay? Um, she's giving, but she's also receiving, right? So how is she giving? She's giving by being in her feminine, by being in that energy, okay? She's giving by tapping into that part of her that is allowing her to speak when the time is right, to take the action when the time is right, and to also know when to sit back and not do anything, but still know that even though I'm not doing anything, things are happening under the surface. Okay, when we think about under the surface, we think about the subconscious, we think about being submerged in the depths of emotional intelligence and in water, okay? Um, pay attention to the different moon phases also and tap into the moon phases that resonate with your energy. I know that we have, you know, you know there's different, schools of thought out there that, you know, oh, on this moon phase, you do this, that moon phase, you do that. However, each one of us utilizes the moon energy in different ways. So you need to sit with your higher self and find out what moon phase resonates best with your energy. Okay. Because from there, you're going to gain that knowledge and those instructions on what of what to do during those moon phases, okay? Um, when you're tapping into the subconscious, you're going to be asking certain questions. Um, maybe something like, you know, show me what I need to see to bring forth this particular wealth, to open up this doorway to wealth, to um, 
tap into this hidden gift or talent that I might have, okay? But you want to use those moon phases to really uh, tap into the subconscious and to communicate with that divine feminine energy that I'm talking about. Um, it doesn't mean that you're not able to do that without the moon phase because you absolutely can. However, once you select the moon phase that is for your energy, you, that communication is going to be a lot clearer. The interpretation of what it means to you, you're going to be able to understand it a lot better. Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. Sorry, y'all. I'm just reading these these notes because as I channel it, I am speaking it, and then it's being written out as I speak it. Okay, so give me a second. Hold on. All right. Um, also, you need to. Okay, you need to pay attention to your dreams as well, because once you start tapping into that divine feminine energy, it is going to come to you. That information is going to be revealed to you in dreams, okay, because, you know, your dreams are coming from the subconscious, right? The subconscious represents the chaotic feminine energy. So since we're tapping into that place, then though a lot of what needs to be revealed is going to show up in your dreams. So just pay attention to your dreams. Um, oh, okay. Karen is saying that her dreams have been extreme, been very vivid. Yes. Pay attention to your dreams, um, and make sure that you write down the information that is substantial, that's significant. Okay. It looks like I'm frozen on here. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. Um, you want to write down those messages that seem significant. Now, let me, let me give y'all a little tip about dreams, by the way, okay? I go into great depth. I teach, I do dream therapy in the Be Magic program, the hypnosis program. So when you have these dreams, right, um, usually the dreams that you remember happen in the tail end of your sleep cycle, right before you wake up. So those dreams are what we call venting dreams. Those are the dreams that are actually so-called taking out the trash, from what we no longer need, all right? So you want to uh, be very mindful about what you take from those, those dreams that you remember at the tail end of your sleep cycle right before you wake up, okay? If it is something that feels like, if it feels like something that, that's being released from the subconscious, um, you wanna let that go because you don't wanna accept it as a truth for you and, and re-implant it into the subconscious mind, if that makes sense, okay? If it's something that's being, if it is trash that's being taken out because you no longer need it, let it go. But if you are tapped in and your intuition or that divine feminine energy is saying, this is a message for you, then that is the dream that you wanna write down so that you can tap into whatever that information is, okay? Um. Make sure you keep a pen and pad when you're doing this communication with this divine feminine energy, okay? So that you can write down everything that comes in or you can record it with your voice recorder, whatever feels good for you. So this is gonna be a great meta metamorphosis for you. You're gonna go through a lot of transformation um, and you're gonna be shifting and changing. And as you're shifting and changing, that means that your environment is going to shift and change. People around you are going to shift and change. You're going to notice that your psychic abilities become more heightened. Um, you might notice that you're able to tap into um, more energy. You might notice an energy boost, okay? If you've been more lethargic, if you've been more tired lately, you may notice an energy boost. Now, if you're always going, 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 you may notice that you need to rest more, okay? So it just depends on your energy levels, where you are right now, and what you're currently, the, the current activity around you and within you. Um, you might even notice that you're staying up later, but even though you're staying up late, you're not tired, you're just up. So use this time 
to write out what's coming to you, to strategize, especially especially when it comes to this money, right? What is this wealth coming in? You want to utilize this time, not forcing anything. You're not going to have to force anything once you start tapping into this energy. You're not going to have to force anything, okay? Um, but make sure that you are spending more time alone. You don't have to isolate. You're just going to spend more time alone, more quiet time so that you can hear the messages and you can catch the wisdom and catch, oh, it's time for me to do this. It's time for me to go here. It's time for me to call this person or, or do this action, okay? Um. So like I said, there's gonna be a lot of, of shifts taking place within you and outside of you. Um, and this could affect the people around you, not necessarily in a bad way. It may affect people in a very positive way, okay? So it's not going to be bad. It's just going to be, you're going to notice changes around you. Now, um, in the event, in the event that there are, there is some upheaval that's uncomfortable, you need to make sure that you are, um, cleansing yourself, make sure you're cleansing, make sure you're you know, I'm not one to tell anybody about their diet, child, because I, I that gets on my last nerve to sit up here and tell people how to eat because everybody's bodies are different. People have different blood types, different issues. So just try to lighten up, lighten yourself up. OK, maybe you might even want to do some some sort of a cleanse. You don't have to. It doesn't have to be an extreme cleanse or an extreme detox, but you just may want to cleanse. OK. Um, even if that just means to take more baths or, you know, spend an extra 20 minutes in the shower and just submerge yourself in water. If you're somewhere where you can get by a body of water, that is great too. I know that it is winter time, so it's not going to be that easy for everybody to get by the water right now. So maybe just, you know, soak your feet in some water, drink a lot of water, get in the bathtub and just soak in the water, you know, um, is is very necessary for you to do this. There's um because because of the metamorphosis that's going to be taking place inside of you, there's also going to be there's it's going to feel like a storm, but the storm is really there to clear the pathway so that these new things can flow in, if that makes sense, okay? It's not there to destroy, it's there to clear and purge. But it might feel destructive. However, this is the stuff that you're going to need in order for you to fully step into this wealth, because it's going to be something that you have to release, something that you got to walk away from, but your divine feminine energy is going to give you the message. You're going to know what to do and when to do it. So do not worry about that. Okay. Um, The whole time that this is going on is very important to keep your mind clear. So you want to um, do work to keep the head clear, all right? Which means try to, you know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you to stay off of social media or whatever, but what needs to happen is maybe start curating your newsfeed. OK, so if you see some things pop up on your news feed and you're like, oh, that's something that I don't want to see or that's triggering to me and it's going to take me into a tailspin or a ruminating thought that I don't want to be bothered with, then you just put that person on pause for 30 days or you unfollow them. OK, you hide their posts. This is how you curate your feed. This is how you don't have to worry about seeing nonsense posted on your page. It's very important for you to protect your environment, protect everything around you that you're going to be consuming, whether it is, you know, listening to stuff on the radio or a podcast or reading things, you need to, that's, that's another part of the cleansing and the storm and the purge, okay? Because you're going to need to keep your mind clear while you're going through this particular cleansing. Um, 
And also because you're going to be tapping into various depths when you when you're tapping into this divine feminine energy, you're going to be dealing with the subconscious and there's many layers to the subconscious. OK, subconscious is not just one big space. There are many layers to it and there's going to be some programs there that are actually there to assist you. So you need to keep a clear mind because sometimes the program may show up and it might be like, oh, that's something I don't want to look at. But it may actually be a, a jewel in there that you can use that if you break through that program, if you re, if you reprogram it, that might be the billion dollar idea right there. You understand? OK. If you break through a certain obstacle because you are sitting and you're visiting with that energy and it's revealing to you certain things that need to be clear that might be that million dollar billion dollar idea got it all right so it's important that as you're moving through this that you clear your keep your mind clear keep your mind clear okay So these are going to be gifts that might have been lying dormant, okay? And they're starting to wake up when you do this, that inner work. Um, you, like I said, you'll be tapping into that deep subconscious energy that knows and remembers your gifts from past lives and from your ancestors. So when you're tapping in, um, you might stir, like I said, you might stir some stuff up that could be heavy for you emotionally, but just know that you can experience your emotions as an observer. You do not have to be in it, right? You don't have to be in it to experience it. You can be an observer, okay? And if you don't know how to do that, you can, we can work together one-on-one -on -one doing that, or you can just simply ask your higher self to show you how to be the observer, all right? Um, that's not something that's easy to do by yourself all the time. So if it's not, then you guys know how to reach me and, and set up a free consultation so we can talk about that. And then we can set up a one-on-one -on -one session if that's, if that's necessary, okay? All right. So I'm hoping that this has been helpful for somebody. I don't see anything else in here that I need to really talk about that much. Um, but I do, if you do find that you, you need some assistance with keeping the mind clear, staying focused, um, pattern interrupt, pattern interrupting the ruminating thoughts. Um, maybe if something is triggered as you're doing this work and comes it comes up and it's like, oh my God, I, you know, I don't know, I, I'm, I can't stop thinking about this or now all of a sudden this is just sitting heavy on my heart. I do have on sale right now the blockbuster head working um, ritual. Um, you get instant access to it It's $66 right now. It's usually $132. Um, but you can get that right now and that's going to help you do the traditional hoodoo head working to help keep your mind clear, to help keep you focused on the work that you're doing um, and to help you clear out any possible patterns that could be um, blocking you, okay? We're not trying to avoid anything. We're just creating a space where we're navigating through it a lot easier. Okay. So I hope that this has been helpful. If you find that this is something that you may want to share with somebody, feel free to tag them in this video. Feel free to share the video. I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel as well um, after we're wrapped up here. Um, and again, you guys can set up a one-on-one -on -one, uh, appointment with me. If you have questions about this channel, download message. Um, we can discuss that if you want to work one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I can assist you with, you know, reaching that depth in hypnosis so that you're able to communicate and ask those questions and get those answers and really tap into the information that is there that is going to assist with this huge substantial wealth, because that is what this is about. This somebody 
is about to hit it big, okay? And I don't know how you're going to hit it big, but in order for you to do that, you have to get very familiar with this particular feminine energy, okay? Um, and those of you who have worked with me in the past, you know that a big part of what I do is help you tap into those frequencies, those energies, those ancestors, those beings that we're not able to really tap into consciously because we got so much stuff going on throughout the day. Hypnosis is an excellent way to assist you with that if you need it, okay? But other than that, I thank you for your time and your energy today. And I will be back because I've been getting a lot of these messages. So, um, you know, I know I'm not, I'm not the only person saying this probably, but you know, I was told to give it, to give the message the way I give it, child. So if it resonates, awesome. If not, maybe the next one will. Okay. I love you guys. And I will see you soon because I got a lot more stuff to share. All right. Peace out.